An Arizona Amtrak shooting leaves a DEA agent suspect dead, one person detained, authorities say. So a Drug Enforcement Administration agent and a suspect were left dead and two law enforcement officers were injured Monday during a shooting inside an Amtrak train stopped at an Arizona station Authorities said. By the way, if you hear something in the background, that's a husky eating food. So a second suspect was in custody, Tuscan Police Chief Chris Magnus told reporters. Magnus said the Counter Narcotics Alliance, a task force comprised of local and federal law enforcement agencies, boarded a New Orleans bound Amtrak train stopped at a station in downtown Tucson around 8 a.m to do a routine check for illegal guns, drugs, money, and other items. The law enforcement officers encountered two people on the second level of the double-decker train. While they were speaking with one person, a second opened fire, Magnus said. A DEA agent was shot and died, and another was injured. dun dun dun, dun. So a Tuscan police officer on the platform heard the shots ring out and ran into the train, the chief said. And as he entered into the train, he was also shot, Magnus said. The suspected shooter then barricaded himself inside a train bathroom after exchanging gunfire with officers, Magnus said. So authorities later determined that the suspect was dead and Magnus did not know whether agents shot him or he took his own life. I think... The most likely scenario was that he probably actually took his own life because he knew that he already killed someone and he basically probably already knew or she yeah he right that he pretty much already knew that his life was basically over right because shooting someone dead is already bad shooting a basically a DEA agent is even worse which is crazy when you really think about it because it should just be equally as bad. But basically, when you like do harm to an officer, you tend to get more charges against you on top of just a normal attack or killing or all that kind of stuff, right? It's very, like the legal system is very odd. You'd think it'd just be equally bad because you've murdered someone, but no, there's like different, it's kind of like the same, like not the same thing, but similar to like hate crimes. Like, you'd think that the crime itself would be bad enough, but no, there's also an added like added feature of hate in some uh, crime situations. So this seriously injured DEA agent and Tuscan police officer were taken to a hospital. The police officer was in stable condition and is being held overnight for observation, Magnus said. Well, that's good. So I also want to reflect on the really heroic actions of the officers at this scene who literally ran towards the danger into the car where there was an active shooting situation going on, Magnus said. The Sunset Limited Train 2 was traveling from Los Angeles to New Orleans. Amtrak spokesman Jason Abrams told Fox News. The 137 passengers and 11 crew members on board were uninjured and evacuated from the station. Now, that's actually really amazing, right? Regardless of the situation, like, it's really crappy that a DEA agent was shot and killed. But the fact that 137 passengers and 11 crew members were uninjured throughout that whole fiasco is amazing. So you got to give props to that. Props to basically being able to uh, remedy the situation as best as possible, right? Like this is basically not the best case scenario, but it's better than the worst case scenario where every single one of them could have been killed, right? That's that's the real possibility that literally every single person on that train could have been killed, could have been blown up. You don't know, right? You don't know what the person's plan was, right? You didn't know like what they were potentially going to do, right? So it could have been way, way worse. And Amtrak is working with the local and federal authorities, he added. So apparently this is also a video of basically one of the officers actually running into the train and then shots getting fired. And I believe the person that ends up running into this train was the person who ended up getting shot. Not shot and killed, but shot. So let's check this video out.
And if you heard that, that was multiple gunshots. Yeah, that's... Ugh, that really sucks. So security footage at the station posted online shows a train arriving at the station while other footage shows some of the shooting. So multiple shots can be heard from inside a train before a man, who appears to be a security officer with a dog, boards in the middle of the second to last car through an open door. Two bystanders back away and then run past a baggage car joining four others as they usher each other onto the last car and the door slides shut. So cold TV previously reported an officer had been injured from gunfire and a source told the news outlet the injured officer was taken to a hospital. A witness said two men approached another on a train saying they wanted to speak with him and as they left the train, shots were fired, cold reported. Evan Corney was in a lounge car when people suddenly came running in yelling, shots fired. I grabbed my backpack and ran, he told the Associated Press via Twitter, direct messaging. Okay, so Evan Courtney. I caught this heartbreaking moment of two officers at the scene of the fatal shooting at Tuscan Amtrak Station. At Tuscan Police and at FBI happened superb. I'm safe due to their fast action. At Tuscan Star, at What's Up Tuscan, and at KVOA. And... You can see from the situation, like you know, like in this photo that he took, you could actually see a couple of um, officers basically being like, like probably crying, depressed. Right? There's a couple of them that like their heads are just like sunken down because they realize that like one of their guys got killed. So that's really crappy. He later re- uh, he later tweeted photos of officers embracing each other. So. I mean, feel free to give your thoughts. Like, this type of situation is like, this is the thing that people need to understand when it comes to cops, right? Or any sort of officer, right? They are human beings doing a job, right? And their job can sometimes be very dangerous, even when it's not even meant to be dangerous right because this is supposed to be just like a routine check right apparently and if that's the case they were just probably just planning on just checking potentially anyone that might seem suspicious and be like okay let's see what's going on here is there anything wrong going here if there wasn't anything going on they could have just went on and had a pretty chill day probably right but again this is the thing when you're an officer you end up getting put into situations where you have a higher likelihood of engaging in violence, right? So that's the thing that people need to understand. When you're an officer, you end up getting put into higher chances of getting or meeting violence coming towards your way, right? And it can happen at any time. I'm pretty certain people have seen videos of like, just a normal like traffic stop, you know, a cop pulling someone over for speeding, probably going to give them a ticket or even just give them a warning. And all of a sudden, a person just pulls out a gun and shoots them in the face, right? Like that's a real possibility when it comes to an officer just try to do their job. So you got to keep that in mind, right? Officers are not perfect. They are just human beings doing their job. And it's very sad to see something like this where they're simply just trying to do their job and something bad like this happens, right? Like this is like really, really bad. And it could have been way worse if the other officers did not respond the way that they responded, right? Because again, there was like 137 passengers and 11 crew members. Every single one of them could have been killed. Keep that in mind, right? But the other DEA agents, the FBI, all the kind of stuff responded in a manner to mitigate the amount of damage that was potentially done, right? So that's just something to keep in mind. Regardless of people's, like, point of view of officers, just keep in mind that they're humans and crazy things like this happen to them on something that's supposed to be just a routine thing. Now, of course, there's going to probably be more facts coming out of this you know, situation, 
But feel free to give your thoughts, right? And yeah, by the way, if you want to learn how to get out of debt, go check out 40inbox.com.